How are you guys doing today? I just wanted, since I was dressed this way, I wanted to do um, just like a video about um, conventions, comic cons, and stuff like that. I'm dressed as Black Widow. You can only see like parts of it. I already taken off the gloves. And I'm, I've left the wig on for you guys. I want to take it off so bad, but I've left it on for you. Art, art is pain, okay? <laughs> um, I just want to do a quick video, and if it looks better, it's because Santa brought me a fancy new camera. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I am. And I'm really excited about it, so I wanted to try it out today. And just talk about something that I really enjoy doing, as you guys already know, if you've watched any of these, is cosplay and going to comic conventions. Um, this is my Black Widow. I've had her for a little bit now. She's been through some stuff. Um, survived Thanos, though, you know, so... Just holding up. Um, but I talk about like cosplaying and conventions all the time. So I just, I went to my first one of the year, or local, very tiny one. Um, is in like the um, conference room of a small Marriott hotel where I live. And it was mostly just vendors, which I mean, that's a lot of times the best part of a convention. And you get to see like people's artwork, their writing, there are little trinkets and sometimes people have costumes there and it's just really cool to see like the work people put into and what they're selling and um so not only was my first convention of the year is my first in this town most of the time I go up to Atlanta or out of state so it's really nice to support a local convention so it can get bigger and more known and you know the people who put it on you know see something from that see some growth from it and they're really great people too and it's just a little something to help like because here like well, I've said it's a military town so we have a mixture of cultures and whatnot but it's still kind of very southern in the way that if you're outside of the norm you kind of you get a side, side eye glance like so it's nice where nerds can like meet up and hang out and feel safe and I think that's why a lot of us like con so much anyways because I mean even back in the 90s people still get picked on for liking comic books and it's like if you watch the Batman animated series you had something to talk about with your friends at school but if you like the comic books you were considered a weirdo so you just you had to find a balance of being like I'm you know I like all the new cool cartoons but I can't let you know I also like all this other stuff if you didn't want to get picked on so, and now with like Marvel com Marvel at the forefront and DC not too far behind them, it's really helped and it's helped grow co comic conventions and conventions in general. I mean, now you have um, like Walker Stalker for um, Walking Dead. You have like monster ones, so they're like horror, more genre stuff. You have book ones where it's just like books and things it just it varies and it's a lot of fun um and so if you're trying to find a way to celebrate your nerdiness and your geekiness go to a convention even a small one in your local area where you, you know and you don't have to cosplay i just love cosplay uh, there weren't many cosplayers today because it was such a small convention um but if you don't want to, that's fine. You know, throw on your favorite nerdy t-shirt and a pair of jeans. And just go enjoy yourself. Go buy some comic books, some trinkets. Talk to other nerds. Get to know people. Make friends. It's a lot of fun. Um, you get to meet a lot of cool new people that are really great in your area that you didn't even know. I was like, I met somebody today who we both follow each other on uh, social medias. And we didn't realize we lived in the same town. So, it's... You, it's makes the nerd wor world a little closer to home like you don't have to just rely on the internet you can actually have some social interaction as terrifying as that is it's not all bad um especially at conventions so and i just wanted to talk about that and how like this is my like i said this is my first con of the season i'm hoping to go to one um one a month if not more which one a month is a lot honestly there I know there's like professional cosplayers and other people go to one every weekend I'm just like I don't know how you guys do it and get new costumes out and I'm like you have some crazy good time management skills I know I do not um so and also like this is 
a year of first and stepping out of my comfort zone. So while I've been doing cosplay for like on and off for 10 years, I never did a com uh, con um, costume contest. I just, and I'll talk about this in another, but I kind of really doubted myself. I was like, but there's so many other good ones and I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But um, one of the people at the door is like, you going to do it? And I was like, sure, why not? And I ended up winning third. It's really exciting. So and my winning anything in your first con um, contest, costume contest, is really exciting. So we're definitely starting this year off at a good start. Um, but yeah, basically just... If you're not ready for the big conventions like Dragon Con or San Diego or New York, go see, just Google comic conventions or whatever genre you like in your area. Like, my area is Middle Georgia. So I type that up, see what's coming up so I don't have to take the two-hour drive to Atlanta or whatnot. Just like on, like today, it was just for today, just Sunday. And it was a lot of fun. It's, it was really sweet. I know that sounds weird, but it was just, it was nice, and, um, yeah, so, kind of support, like, support local business, support your local cons, and it'll help, you know, boost you, like, stepping stones to go to the bigger ones and prepare yourself for that craziness, because there are, like, Dragon Con, I believe there was 85,000 people just on the Saturday alone last year. That's a lot of people, and if you're not a social person, if you are an introvert and, you know, five minutes at the grocery store is more than you can take take the baby steps you know and then go with friends to the bigger ones so if you need to take a step back you're not like you're not by yourself and yeah and if you want to cosplay cosplay if you don't don't nobody's gonna judge you well if somebody does judge you they're an asshole and they're not being a good person and they can leave they can show themselves out <laughs> um, yeah, that's just kind of what I wanted to talk about, how I have kicked off the con year at this little con, and it was a great, um, it was a great way to start off the convention season. Just something little. It's a little taste to get me excited for the rest of the year. And I hope you guys do the same. I hope you guys are having a great day, had a great weekend, had a great New Year's, and I'll see you guys next time. Let me know in the comments what cons you're looking forward to this year, big or small, which ones are your favorite, if you like to cosplay or not. Um, and like and subscribe and I love you guys I hope you have a great day bye